What's up, folks? My name is Detroit Mirico, and welcome to this episode of Relationship Facts. I will call this episode The Compromise. Do anyone know what compromising means or to compromise? Well, it means that you deprive yourself of something you like or would like to do, or you do something that you don't necessarily want to do in order to make your mate happy or comfortable. So when you find two people that are together, you would think that they would throw away all of their bad habits in order to not turn the person off. And I mean that of both male and female. For example, you might have a guy who might be a confirmed bachelor party animal type who likes to go out, club it up, thug it up, drink it all night, party, and then come home at the very earliest in the morning. And on the other hand, you will have a woman, she might like to get with her girlfriends and they go out to a club, have a lot of drinks, dance on a party floor, get wasted, and then they find their way back to their homes, staggering drunk. So in those cases, you have both types of people, of male and female, who like to unwind that way every now and then or often enough. Okay, so just say when those two people get in a relationship, they will find that they lose some of their freedom in a way, but you would call it a compromise or to compromise in order to make your significant happy, such as in a case with the guy who likes going out wild partying and the girl who likes going out wild partying. Now, if you get in a relationship which is serious, then you must abide under certain conditions in order to keep that relationship healthy, strong, and happy. Meaning you cannot do whatever you want all the time. You cannot go and do as you please you cannot hang out with whoever you want to hang out with. You can't party it up all night and toast the town. Yeah, you must say that you must do things necessary in order to keep that relationship working right. And that goes for both parties involved. And there, there are some that would call that giving up some of your freedom. But it's another way to look at it, which is to compromise certain things or to go along with certain things in order to get along. It's as, as simple as that. We can't do everything we want to do if we are in a relationship such as in a case where it comes to a guy who has girlfriends. They might not be intimate girlfriends where he's sleeping around with them, but nevertheless, he might be on good terms with them. He can hang out with them, talk to them on the phone whenever he pleases, but he has to give all that up too because the lady, his partner would be like, Hey, who you talking to? Why you keep talking to that woman? Why is she calling your phone all the time? Why do you stay on the phone with her so long? You see, his significant mate is not going to take that as being just some simple, normal friendship. Because in many cases, it can be much more serious than that. Now, if you have a woman who has guy friends... She might have male friends that work with her, you know, on a job. 
in order to get through a tough work shift. They crack jokes, you know, clown around and even may eat lunch together. And they keep in contact with one another outside of the job. But if that woman is off her job and at home near her boyfriend, her that woman's co-worker cannot just call her as he pleases and talk to the, her on the phone and play around with her, especially if it's been known to the boyfriend that she has a male friend. You know why? Because it can become a problem. Yeah, because that is a first stage to a relationship, being able to comfort the woman, make her laugh, please her that way, and then that will smooth the way for you to edge a little bit closer to her to get a little bit more, I would say, pleasure from the whole arrangement if the guy is thinking that way. Yeah. Why do you think um guys be taking women to comedy shows? That is a test. They're testing those women to see if they have a singular wit and who are capable of laughing and having a good time. So that will determine that any guy that can make the woman happy and smile can be more friendlier towards her. That is not a theory of mine, but rather a factual truth. Well, getting back to the whole compromise thing, it means that if you give up something that you like or go along with something that you necessarily don't want to go along with, and follow that routine, then it means that you care about your your partner and your mate in order to make them happy that way by showing that you are willing to compromise, but only for them and their sakes. Yeah. Yeah, it can be, and it isn't as bad as it seems with the compromising Because if you have a good, healthy, strong relationship, then you'll gain much more by you compromising in regards to what you like and what you don't like. And that goes for both parties involved in a relationship. Yeah, folks. Well, I'd appreciate it if you all would drop those comments Throw me those likes and please subscribe to my channel, which is Detroit Miracle. And peace out.